You think the internet is secure? Think again. A few months ago, a group of shadowy figures almost pulled off a cyber heist that could have compromised millions of computers. Millions. We're talking about nearly hacking everything. This isn't some Hollywood fantasy. This is a real life story, and it's both terrifying and fascinating. Welcome to Million Dollar Talks, where we dive deep into the world of finance, personal growth, and the issues that impact us all. Today, we're taking a detour into the wild west of the digital frontier, the open source world, and exploring a question that'll make you sweat. How close did we come to a global cyber meltdown? This story starts not with a bang, but with a whimper, with a seemingly harmless email on a mailing list. Imagine the internet as a sprawling city. Now imagine that city is built, maintained, and constantly updated by volunteers. That's the essence of open source software. It's a beautiful, collaborative mess. One guy, Lassa Colin, created a tool for compressing files, something similar to a zip function. He shared it for free, and it became a cornerstone of open source projects like XZUtils. Here's the thing. The internet, this incredible machine that powers our lives, relies heavily on open source projects like these. And as an infamous XKCD comic once hilariously pointed out, the whole thing often feels like it's held together with duct tape and prayer. Enter Gia Tan. In 2021, a new user emerged on the XEUtils scene. At first, harmless contributions, then bigger ones. Lassa Colin, the original developer, was essentially drowning in code submissions. Then came Jigar Kumar, another new user, seemingly impatient with Colin's pace. These new users, it turned out, were phantoms. Fake accounts, part of a larger scheme, their goal, to gain control of XZ utils and inject malicious code. XZ utils is used in, among other things, OpenSSH, a program that allows remote access to millions of servers worldwide. Gia Tan snuck in cleverly disguised code that would have given them access to those servers. Millions of computers at risk. But here's the crazy part. It almost worked. Thankfully, a stroke of luck intervened. Andres Freund, a Microsoft engineer, noticed a performance issue while testing a new, unstable version of the software. He dug deeper and unraveled the entire plot. Literally, millions of computers were saved by a guy working late at night. This story is a wake-up call. We dodged a bullet, but who's to say there aren't more landmines out there? The open source world is vulnerable, but it's also a testament to the incredible work of unsung heroes like Colin and Freund. These are the people who keep the internet humming, often for free. So what can we do? Well, for starters, let's appreciate the complexity of the digital world we inhabit. And hey, if you're interested in learning more about how to navigate the financial landscape, how to invest your money wisely, or just wanna stay ahead of the curve on these critical global issues, then hit that subscribe button and join the Million Dollar Talks family. Until next time, stay safe out there in the digital jungle.